What's up guys, CC back with another video and you already know what it is. So hey girl, hey, CC back with another video and in today's video, y'all know what we doing. We are doing another declutter. So just a few disclaimers. One, we're gonna do blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. And we're gonna do them separately because I couldn't fit them all on my little table here. So we're gonna start with blushes. Two, I just took my nails off for the week so I can put on a fresh set. So they looking raggedy. So I don't wanna hear anything in the comments. My nails are looking raggedy, I know, but I'm gonna buff them all out, put on a fresh set, all of that. So let's just get that out the way. But um, that's we're here for this. We're here for this right here. So if it's your first time watching, hello, my name is Cece. We talk about productivity, our corporate careers, and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel. So if that is something you're interested in, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. 2024 is a low buy year for a lot of us. Y'all doing this with me. So we are going to be decluttering every area of our lives. And I'm starting with my makeup because I have quite an extensive collection. If you missed any of the other videos in this series, they will all be linked down below in the description box and they'll also be in the cards of this video. So I've already decluttered my concealers, my foundations, my powders, and now we're on to blushes, bronzers, and highlighters. Okay, so I think those are all of the, the pieces of business we have. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Y'all know how we start these videos. Leave me a comment down below letting me know how many blushes. We're going to start with blushes. Letting me know how many blushes you think I have. Don't cheat and try to count either because you ain't going to get it. So put it down below in the comments. I'll wait. Okay, y'all, so there is an ungodly amount of blushes here. I started with blushes because I had the most of them, and I have 58 blushes. No one in God's green earth needs 58 blushes. I could stock Sephora myself with all these blushes here. So we're going to get rid of a lot of these. I've been getting rid of like half of my makeup collection as I've been going through this, and we're going to try to do that today because you don't need 58 blushes. So I have categorized them into powder blushes and liquid cream blushes over here. I'm just gonna pull them out and we're gonna see where we go. Okay, let's start this on a good note. Um, I already know I wanna get rid of this guy right here. This is the Tower 28 blush in Golden Hour. It's just too light skin for me. I don't really use it and it just, it doesn't complement me like I want it to. So let's go ahead and let that one go. Look at us, starting off on a good foot, okay? Um, let's also get rid of this Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush. This one's in the shade Goldie, Goldie Cases, Goldie Casses, I don't know. I love the Essence highlighters, which you guys will see in a minute, but these blushes just really don't do it for me. Like, it's just, yeah, it just doesn't do it for me. And maybe it's just my skin tone, but this just isn't my jam, so I'm gonna let that one go as well. Now let's pull out a few keepers also. We're gonna keep this Dior blush in Rosy Glow. We do really love a good, I love that orange color, especially for the spring. I'm also gonna keep the Dior blush in, oh, this blush is in Rosy Glow. They're all Rosy Glow. This is Cherry. Cherry? Is this really called Cherry? I didn't even know, because it's not like Cherry, it's like orange. But we're gonna keep that. We're also gonna keep Berry which is this color, so beautiful. Now I have one more, it's this um, mahogany. I don't know if I wanna keep this. This is more like a, like a bronzer contour color and I probably shouldn't have gotten this color. Let's, let's do it now. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of this one, but I am gonna keep these two. All right, I have these three ColourPop blushes here. Um, I am on their, their PR list, so they send me some PR every now and then, and they sent me these blushes a little bit ago. This one is in Message Me. Um, this one is in Claim It, which is a very light skin blush, and this one is, what's this one? Good energy, and that's also another just very light skin blush. I didn't even take that one out the pack. So I am going to let, how did this one look? I think I'm gonna let 
all of these go. All right, we are doing quite well here and I'm impressed in myself. Let's keep going. Um, oh, I do want to keep this. I want to keep this Tower 28 blush. This one is in After Hours. This one is so, so, so pretty. Like how gorgeous is that color? We have to keep that one. Um, what else do we have? Let's also, let's pull out some keeper, some that I just absolutely know I'm keeping. Two of them, well, one of them. This is the Danessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin in Prima Donna. It's just so gorgeous. It blends out very well. We love that blush a lot. I also really love the L'Oreal Infallible Blushes. So I have two of those. I have this one in, what is this? Legendary Berry, that's so pretty. And then I have this one is in Confident Pink. So I'm gonna keep both of those. They're both really, really beautiful blushes. Where to go from here? Let's automatically, I can get rid of this. I'm not using this. This is the Revolution Duo Blush and Highlighter. I'm just, I'm not using that. So automatically I know that can go. Um, how about this Pixie On The Go Bronze? This is a Tinted Moisture Stick. Uh, I don't think I've ever used this. Yeah, I've never even opened or used this. So there's no point in me doing it now. So let's just get rid of that. I'm also going to let go of this LA Colors Blush Up Cheek and Lip Cream. I've had it for so long. It's a nude glow. First of all, this color doesn't look like it'll work for me. And then on top of that, like I said, I've had it for so long and I've never opened it. So I'm not going to open it now. I also didn't love the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Blush in, what is this called? Berry Radiant? I didn't love this either, so I'm going to get rid of her. You guys, we're doing a really, really, really good job here. Let's keep it going. Well, let's not keep it going because we're keeping the House Labs Blush. <laughs> this is the House Labs Blush in Watermelon Bliss is what it is. This is so pretty. This is one of my favorite, favorite blushes here. So we are absolutely keeping that. We're also keeping this glowish blush by Huda Beauty. So pretty. One of my favorite colors. Just all around beautiful, all year round. We love it. This Sephora colorful blush in Hey Jowsy. Another just gorgeous blush that I need in my life and I cannot get rid of. All right, let's start to open some of these cream blushes. This is the Fenty Double Cheeked Up in Peony Droppa and Malibu's. Um, that's so pretty. That's so pretty, but I hardly reach for it. Like, I feel like if I'm doing a non-powder bl blush, like a cream or a liquid, I'm really reaching for these Rare Beauty blushes or something like this, because they're just easier to use. I can literally open them, dot them on my cheeks, blend them in and be done with it. I mean, I could do the same thing here. Let's put this to the side because I have a ton of Fenty Cream blushes. So let's put this to the side and then we'll see what looks like this and if I want to keep it or not. How about that? So let's just, let's put that off to the side for now. Um, let's look at this Hourglass blush. This is in the shade At Night. I really did like this. I, I like that. Let's keep that. Oh, this is one I know I can get rid of. This is the Uma Beauty by Sharon C in Obsessed. I just, I was not a fan of this blush. I think it was more so the color that I wasn't a fan of, but yeah, I know for a fact I can, I can let her go. Okay, let's make a decision on these two Danessa Myricks blushes. This one's in the shade Jubilee. This one's in the shade Bellini. What do you guys think? Jubilee. Oh, Jubilee's pretty. All right, let's look at Bellini. I don't love Bellini. Okay, let's let Bellini go. And let's keep Jubilee. Easy peasy. Um, oh, I also want to keep this Beauty Bakery blush. This one is in the shade, what is this? Freshly Baked. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, y'all. Let's keep that. I feel like I want to keep both of these too. This is the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint in Proud Pink. Oh, well, this one's in Proud Pink. This one is in Rebel Red. Why do I not use this? I don't use this enough. That's Rebel Red. Proud Pink. I'm not going to use Proud Pink. Let's let Proud Pink go. But Rebel Red, we're going to keep. All right, NARS Blush in Dolce Vita. 
I don't love that blush. That's easy. Let's get rid of that one. Um, Pat McGrath Labs blush in Paradise Venus. I think I really like this blush. Oh, it's hard to get open. There we go. I think I really like that one. That's like a CC blush. I'll keep that. I also have the e.l.f. blush in Always Spicy. I think all the girls have this blush. And it's just so pretty. I haven't used it in quite a while. But it's so pretty. Yeah, let's keep her too. All right, y'all, I had to grab some wipes because I was running out of hand space. <laughs> All right, let's keep this going. Kat Von D or KBD blush in Poppy. This was so pretty. What else do I have here? I have these, what are these, Armani? Yeah, Luminous Silk Blushes. Ooh, that's a nice pink. This one is in, doesn't have a name. It's just a number. So there's that. This one, yeah, no name. This is number 40. This is number 52, the pink one. So those look like that. We have this CoverGirl blush. Have I ever opened this? I thought I did. Oh, this blush ain't even open. Child, let's just leave it closed. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, what else we have? This item blush. Oh, she cute. I think I used to really like this one. Oh, well, I don't now, so let's let it go. That was easy. Buxom Blush. I know I use this a lot. This one's in Wanderlust. I've used that one quite a lot. Do I have any more powder blushes? These blushes are... Oh, this one's powder. This one's a Patrick Ta, and she's adorable. Uh, she ain't even really that adorable. Yeah, she ain't even really that adorable, honey. You can go. The rest of these are cream blushes. So these are my last four powder. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got her too. Juvia's Place, Duo. Patrick Ta, I think this is a duo. This is a cream and a powder. I've never used the cream, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that hasn't been touched. And that powder just don't even look that cute. Yeah, that's real light skin. So let's get rid of this one. I also have this one, which is another two powders and a cream, but I think I want to keep this because of more so the highlighter than anything, but I think I want to keep this one. This is my one size little palette, so I can keep that one. Now let's make a decision here. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, this is so pigmented. I want to get rid of KVD. I feel like I need a true pink blush and I don't have one. So I want to keep her. I feel like I have blushes that look like these. <sighs> I want to keep this one too. I don't have to get rid of everything. I'm going to keep that one too. I might keep these two as well because I used to really like this one. And this is another just darker pink. What about you? Do I want you? You could be real cute in the spring. Let's keep it. Okay, keeping these, let's let that go. All right, one, I feel like this video is gonna be super long, and two, I feel like it's about getting about to start getting super tough um, because I think I like all of these. Okay, here's the LYS Cream Blush. This is a NARS Multiple in Orgasm. Oh, we keep orgasm. We love orgasm, so let's keep that. I already know I wanna keep that. Um, I have another NARS multiple here in Dolce Vita. I didn't like Dolce. Oh, the cream looks much better than the powder. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, I mean, okay, I could let that go. I could let that go. I'm not super impressed. Um, let's open some of these cream blushes. I've had these for quite some time. These are the Fenty cream blushes and they have been with me for a long time as you can see some of them are really well used um but this is what they look like and this is what i was saying like if i keep this one do i have something similar because i don't just want to keep the same shades what color is this makeup by mario oh there's a brush I feel like I bought a lot of the same. Ooh, that's pretty though. We're keeping her. That's cute. Okay. Looking at the Fenty, just looking at the Fenty. Let's 
pull these back. This one looks like I haven't gotten much use out of it all these years. So what we need to keep it for? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Keep. 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 Okay, last little pile here. Um, my Rare Beauty. Oh, I love these things so much, you guys. These Rare Beauty blushes. Wait a minute. I think I have more of them. Okay, so remember how I said I have 58 blushes, y'all? I actually got 61 because I have three more. So let's <laughs> just set these down here. Um, so Rare Beauty, this is the one I knew I had and it's not up here. This is one of my favorites. This one's in Truth and I'm not getting rid of that. You're going to have to pry that out of my cold dead fingers. I can get rid of this one in Happy. This one is just a little light for my taste, so that can go. I'm going to just put these out the way. I'm going to keep these two because I just got these at the end of the year. And um, these are the e.l.f. liquid camo liquid blushes. I just, just got these. Um, so I, I want to still try to use those. Out of these other three, um, let's get rid of Encourage. And I'm also going to get rid of... This is different though. Okay, let's keep joy. Let's also keep love. What do we think about? Oh, Encourage is pretty. Okay, I'm keeping all of these. I'm keeping all of those. Yeah, we just gonna keep those. Okay, let's go down to the last five. I wanna get rid of this um, LA Colors blush up. I'm just not going to use it. I've had it for so long. I haven't used it. So I know I can get rid of that. This Merit Beauty Cheek Flush. This is actually really, really pretty in Raspberry Beret. Um, I want to keep that. Yeah, that's so cute, y'all. Y'all see how that looks? That is so cute and so easy to use. So we're going to keep her. I have something from Anastasia. This is in Peach Caramel. It's a blush stick. Ooh. That's all messed up. You see that? That is all messed up. So that is an easy choice to get rid of. And lastly, I have these two pot blushes. One from NARS. This one is in Scandalous. And then this putty blush from e.l.f. Which is in... What color is this? I don't know. I can't tell. But it just looks like this. Now, I would keep these. But the only reason I'm going to get rid of both of them is because it is hard to get your brush inside of these little pots. And then I end up not using them just because it's not an easy use. This is actually so gorgeous, but I mean, how do you get your, your brush in there? It's too much work. I don't wanna work that hard for my makeup. And so they gotta go. did as good with this one y'all I just I don't know that I did as good with this I haven't counted it up yet but this is definitely not 30 plus blushes but you know what that's okay maybe we'll get rid of some more throughout the year but let's just go through um we got rid of actually we did do really well we got rid of 29 blushes that's actually really 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 good um it's better than i thought when i just look at it because i'm like this isn't a lot of blush but i got rid of 29 blushes we started with 61 so that leaves us with if my math is right 60 minus 30 is 30 <laughs> add two on there 32. That leaves us with 32 blushes. So we did actually get rid of half, which is really great. So we got rid of a Huda Beauty blush stick, Patrick Ta, NARS Elf, Anastasia, Rare Beauty, Fenty, 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 Elf, LA Colors, 
Um, Makeup Revolution, KVD, Essence, Tower 28, NARS, Dior, Three Color Pops, another NARS, Uma Beauty, CoverGirl, Janessa Myricks, Item Beauty, Pixie, and Patrick Ta. So 29 blushes all together are going, and I'm excited about that. Let's move straight into the bronzers. Okay, y'all, we are moving on to the bronzers. Leave a comment down below how many you think I got. I'll wait. The final total, 34. Three, four. That's how many bronzers we have, which is actually much better than blushes, but still way too many. And I have no idea when I became more of a cream bronzer girly than a, a um, what is this? Jesus Christ. Than a powder. <laughs> bronzer girly but somehow I have and y'all I think I'm missing one hold on I think I'm missing one okay I was actually missing two so remember I said 34 I have 36 so let's just add those into, <laughs> into the mix 36 okay and let's I, I don't know let's just jump in and get started I don't know what to say um yeah, let's go. This is the one that I knew I was missing. This is how you know you love something when you can tell that it's missing when you have 36 bronzers sitting in front of you and you're looking for one in particular. This is my Rare Beauty Stick Bronzer and it's one of my favorites as of late. This one's in the shade Full of Life and we just love her. So we're going to keep it. Okay, let's pull out. I don't even know why I bought these when I bought these, but these are the Makeup Revolution um, Cream Contour. I don't know what you call them, but either way, I don't want it. Let's get rid of it. I'm not going to, going to use it. Uh, Makeup by Mario. I love this. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. We love her so, so much. She is a dream. She looks so good on the skin. And she is an absolute, absolute keeper. Um, one that I know that I can get rid of is this e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. So actually, we love her in um, the other shade that I have. But in this shade, it just, it doesn't do anything. Like, it just disappears when you put it on the skin. I don't know if I can demonstrate. But it just... I mean, truly, like, disappears. I thought I could use it for something else, um, like a bronzer, but it really just goes away and does nothing for my skin, so I'm going to let that go. Okay, keeping this train rolling, I have this Pixie On The Glow Bronze, kind of like the blush I showed you guys, and again, I just, I mean, I don't know. She just really isn't my favorite. I barely use it, so I think I can I can let it go. Something I know that I'm keeping is this Milk Makeup. This is the Little Stick Bronzer. I actually repurchased this at the end of the year because I purchased it once. It was messed up. I never ended up taking it back to Sephora, but I ended up just purchasing another one. And I really love this little guy. The ease of use, it's just such a nice, nice um, stick bronzer. Let's talk about one that's not a nice stick bronzer. This is the Hollywood Contour Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. Not that it's not nice, but it is so messy. And I've seen other people talk about this with this. Too. Look at this. This is gross. And this is how it's been since, I don't know, for a very long time. And then it kind of has that, you know, it has that foam um, applicator which is very not hygienic so I just I can't use that I can't even put that back in my thing so I can't use that yeah so we have to get rid of that like ASAP all right let's also let's do how about we do this let's talk about some of these potted bronzers so we have one from Anastasia one from NARS here we have one from ColourPop one from Huda, and then one from Chanel. And I will tell you right now, we are not getting rid of Chanel. <laughs> We're keeping, um, keeping Chanel. 
Now let's talk about these others. Huda, I've had, I love this. First of all, if you get your hands on this, get your hands on it. It goes so deep. Like the color spectrum goes so deep in this product. Look how deep that is. And that's a medium. So she does, oh man, look how pretty that is when you blend it out. I've just had this for so long. And I just feel like I don't, yeah, I've had it for so long, like years and years and years. And so I know it's expired. Um, I, I'm just going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. But this is the most beautiful contour. Don't think I'm letting it go because I don't want it. It's just, I've had it for a long time. It's time to move on. I'm also going to move on from this ColourPop Soul. Um, NARS Casino. What do we think about NARS Casino? Oh, that's like a cool toned, true contour. Let's keep her. We like that. That's like a cool tone. That's like a true contour color. And then we have this Anastasia in Hazelnut. Oh, she dark. I don't like the way it's blending out with my finger, though. And if it doesn't blend out well with my finger warming it up, how's it going to look blended out on a brush? Let's get rid of that. That looks real patchy. Let's push through. Um, oh, Huda Beauty Glowish. She's a favorite. I use her all the time, like when we're talking about tutorials and stuff. It's broken, but still a favorite. And we're going to keep her. Um, we will also keep the L'Oreal Fresh Wear. Going to keep that one as well. We are going to keep. I don't use this very often. I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's get rid of NARS and Punta Cana. Y'all, this was my favorite bronzer for the longest time. This pure um, and bronzing act. I have had this bronzer for so long though, and I think it's finally time to get rid of it, but it was just so pretty. It was my favorite. It really, really was. And I don't think they sell this anymore, which is such a shame because this is such a good bronzing powder, but I've had it for so long and I think it's just time to let it go. Um, let's move into this Pat McGrath. I actually really like, this is another kind of almost a little cooler toned one. Um, so let's keep that. Let's put it over here. Let's also, I never reach for this Gucci one. Oh, that's why the shade is ugly. Yeah, we don't even like that. Let's get rid of that. I do want to keep this new Sephora one. This is the Sephora contour. Um, powder. I actually just got this at the end of the year and this this is really nice. I'm also going to keep this Hourglass palette because we love uh, some Hourglass and we love this palette. So we're going to keep that as well. So I'm looking at my pile that I'm keeping and I'm like, I really don't feel like I have that many powder bronzers that I'm keeping but then I keep thinking you don't need that many like you really don't I'm used to just having so many that only having four or five feels like I don't have any and so I have to get out of that mindset really and then here's another one that I, I do want to keep the LYS bronzer but I really have to get out of that mindset because as I like I said as I look at what I'm keeping I'm like oh my gosh I'm not keeping anything but yeah you are you're keeping plenty um the Thread Beauty this is the Face It Complexion Stick in Rich Cool Brown. I think this is actually really nice. I just, that's really dark actually. That's a little too dark for me. But I never reach for this anyway. And it could have been because it's this dark. But yeah, that's a little too dark. Too dark for me. Let's talk about oh, Tom Ford. I remember buying this and I was in love for the longest time, but this is another one that I've just had for so long and I just, I never reach for it anymore. And it feels kind of stiff and it could be because it's probably super expired. So let's get rid of her too. What else we got? Um, the Juvia's Place. This is the Juvia's Place. Oh, I forgot to open this with the other pots. This is the Juvia's Place um, contour in amber. I actually really liked that. That just seems so dark too. Jesus. Why are all of mine so dark? Clearly I'm not buying the right shades. I'm going to get rid of that too. That was not even that old. Charlotte Tilbury. I hate how big this is. This is way too large, but I think I want to keep it. Oh, that blended out like butter. That blended out like butter. Let's keep it. All right, peeps, we're pushing through. What this one size look like? 
she cute, but I don't ever reach for that. I also had this Juvia's Place, which I never reach for. I'm getting rid of both of them. <sighs> Fenty. Coming for you, Fenty. This is the Cream in Honey Glaze. I remember loving this so much. It's so old, though. And then I have the Powder in Coco Naughty. This is so old. Both of them are super old. But I'll get rid of the cream, and I'm going to keep the powder. Okay. Elf Halo Glow Contour Wand. This is kind of the same concept as that Charlotte Tilbury one, except for this one doesn't leak. I use these a couple of times, but I don't feel like I use them enough to really give it a fair shot to say if I love it or don't love it. So I do want to keep this at least for a little bit longer. Um, then I have one from Laura Mercier, the Tinted Moisturizer Bronzer. I didn't love this because the pigment for me just was not there. Um, and then it had this little dropper, which is not kind of my style. And... Like, I feel like this kind of blended out to nothing when I blended it. From what I remember, I see a little color, but just not enough for me. So I'm going to let that go. I'm also going to let go of the Tower 28 in Bronzino. I actually really loved this. I really loved this for a while. And I don't know. I just stopped using it. But look how pretty that is. I just stopped using it, though. No need to hold on to it. The Kosas, this is the Kosas Warm Dark Bronze in Deep. Ooh. It's really bronzy. It's not like, that's like really, really bronzy. Let me keep that just for a little bit longer, see what I could do with that. Laura Geller. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Last two bronzers are this one from ColourPop. This is the Super Shock Bronzer in Beechin. Why does this look light? Oh, that ain't even rubbing like I needed to. So let's just go ahead and let that go. And then I know I want to keep my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer because I love this one. Alright, I'm so excited about this. So these are all the bronzers that we are getting rid of. We started off with 36 bronzers slash contour powders. We are actually getting rid of 20. So that only leaves us with 16, which I'm saying only like that's a little bit because that is still a lot. However, these ain't gonna be in the collection, okay? So we're getting rid of two color pops here, a Juvia's Place, one size, Tom Ford, Pure, NARS, Pixie, Juvia's, Thread, Huda, Fenty, Laura Geller, Anastasia, Tower 28, Makeup Revolution, Gucci, Elf, um, Laura Mercier, and then Charlotte Tilbury. So 20 contour slash bronzers are out of my collection. Let's move straight into highlighters. Okay, y'all, let's move into our last category, which is highlighters. I don't know. This might actually be the hardest the hardest for me so go ahead leave a comment down below how many highlighters do you think I have let me know um I'll wait ready we have 28 highlighters all together which you don't need 28 highlighters all you just don't and so we're gonna try to declutter like half of these. Let's let's see if we can get rid of half. I don't know. The more that I look at this, this seems like it might be my hardest category, and I don't know why. But um, let's just see what we come up with. I don't know. I know I want to keep this Sephora Luminizer. This is pretty new in my collection, and I've been really loving it. So I know I want to keep that. I also really want to keep this one. This is the Huda Beauty Rich Glow Obsessions Palette. This is not available anymore. And you guys always ask me about this highlighter when I use it. And I hate using it in videos because you can't get it anymore. But the colors are just so pretty and I'm not willing to get rid of it. So I'm going to keep it. I'm also keeping this e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter. This is the one that I really love. This one's in the shade number 5, medium tan. And I like mixing this with my foundation and my skin just looks super pretty and glowy. Sometimes I'll mix it with my primer and I just love the way this performs. So we will definitely be keeping her. 
something I know I, I, I can get rid of is actually this. This is the Say, um, I don't even know how you say it, Say or Say Glowy Super Gel. This one's in the shade Star Glow. Um, this one is just way too light skin, doesn't do anything for me or my complexion. So I'm going to let that go. I do have this other one though. This one is in Sun Glow. I do want to keep this. This is kind of like the e.l.f. Halo Glow Filter. At least that's how I use it. I mix it in with my foundations, primers, just to give my skin a nice healthy glow. I usually stay away from something like this during the summertime, but in the winter, I get a lot of use out of products like this. Another favorite of mine is the Merit Beauty. This is the Highlighting Balm in Bounce. This is probably one of my favorite products like ever you just get kind of that wet look highlighter do you see that sheen that is so pretty it's like a wet look it's so beautiful and I haven't come across another product like this so I'm definitely keeping that and I'm also keeping this rare beauty highlighter this is this one is like highlight highlight like that one is like super pigmented um this one's in the shade flaunt but I'm keeping her too I told y'all we're already starting off bad. Um, I know I can let go of one of these. So I have these Fenty Toasted Swirl. I don't even think they sell these anymore. And I would bet money it's probably because they were just way too soft to ship out because mine just kept breaking. So this one is the Toasted Swirl and Chocolate Swiller. And as you can see, it broke and I kind of used alcohol and put alcohol on it to put it back together. But it was just so pretty. I mean, it was just super hard to get rid of. It was just so pretty. Like, actually, now that I'm doing that, it's really not that pretty. Am I tripping? Was that just a bad swatch? No, it is really cute. It is really cute. So I have that one. And then I had Pecan Swiller. Which looks like that. Let me see. So that one looks like that. And then this one is, oh, this is another chocolate swiller. Is this broke? Oh yeah, that one is completely broke up. So that one definitely can go. And then I'll keep these for now. I have this Dose of Colors highlighter. This is the Desi and Katie when they were doing makeup with Dose of Colors called Change the Sun. It's actually so cute. That is actually so, so cute. I actually really like that, but I'm gonna, I gotta make some decisions. I'm gonna let it go. I'm also gonna let go of this fancy kilowatt highlighter in Afternoon Snack and Mo Money. I've had this for so long. This is like my baby, but I've had it for so long and I think it's just run its course. I never reach for it anymore. And I think it's time to just let it go. Okay, I bought these two kind of recently, All both of them last year. This one is in Golden Hour. And then I got this one in Golden Hour, and it's low beam and high beam. So I feel like I don't need both. Like, that one looks identical to the shade right there. But then I have that, too. I guess I'll keep the duo and then get rid of the single. Jesus, y'all. The Ulma Beauty Notting Hill Highlighter. That is so pretty, but it's so large. And I just feel like I, I, I told you guys, I don't like really large packaging because it just doesn't go in my drawer as well. I can let it go. The Tribe Highlighter by Juvia's. This was pretty, if I'm remembering correctly. That was so, look at that, that's so cute. Ooh, that's so cute. I don't know, let's put it to the side. I also have this one by ColourPop called Dobby. It's a super shock highlighter. She's cute, right? Is she not, oh, she's so soft too. kind of white though let's get rid of that what else the oh, this is like the first drugstore highlighter that was actually good the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio in molten gold y'all remember this like everyone was going crazy over this for a long time but I'm gonna let it go because this is very similar the Catrice 3D Glow highlighter and I actually like this a lot better um, so I am going to keep that one if I got to think about this for that long, I'm going to get rid of this Juvia's Place. Um, let's see what else we got. ColourPop. No, this is Beauty Bakery. Snackaroos Highlighter in the shade Worth the Whisk. I think this is really pretty. I really do like this one. Yeah, that's really cute. Keep her. 
I have these Estee Lauder highlighters. I remember chasing these for a long time. Heat Wave, y'all remember when Heat Wave was like the thing? And then there is Bronze Goddess. No, this is one is Mirage, which is so pretty. And then this is Whisper of Guilt. Remember when Max Whisper of Guilt was the thing? I feel like I can't give any of these away because they're just so pretty. And I've been really good about not keeping stuff for packaging, but oh, that is still so cute. Oh, look at look how gold heat wave is. Oh, I don't even wear nothing that gold no more, though. What about Whisper of Guilt? Oh, my God, there's Whisper of Guilt. Jesus. I am going to, I'm just gonna keep them all. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm gonna keep them all. This one's gonna be a total fail, y'all. <laughs> I'm also keeping the Essence Pure Nude. Y'all know I'm keeping this. Pure Nude Sunlighter. I love that so much. Um, and now we just have these four left. This is by Anastasia. This one's in the shade bubbly and it looks like it's breaking up. Yeah, we can get rid of that. It's like breaking up in there a little bit. I'm running out of space on my hand. Ooh, I don't like the way that blends either. It looks really glittery. Let's get rid of that. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in the shade Spotlight. Ooh, see, I hate those because look how that looks. It's just so messy and I just, I can't be bothered with it. cute it's just so messy and then I have the elf halo glow beauty wands one in like the blush shade but it's still a highlighter it's called magic hour and then this one in liquid gold so let's just do a little swatchy have we ever even used this it looks like we have this is liquid gold I don't love that and then this one is what I say Magic Hour. Oh, I definitely use this one. I don't love that either. All right, how many did we have at the start? 28. So it looks like we are getting rid of five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Still about half. We actually did a really good job. So we're getting rid of Juvia's Place, Fenty, Elf, ColourPop, Uma, Sephora, Anastasia, another Elf, Maybelline, Fenty, Dose of Colors, Say, and Charlotte Tilbury. So 28 minus 13 equals 15 highlighters that I still have in my collection, which again is still too many, but you know what? We're doing good, okay? So getting rid, Operation Getting Rid of Half of My Makeup Collection is actually going really well, and I'm very excited about it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos and you are loving them. If so, leave me a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, and if you have not already, don't know what you're doing, but go ahead and subscribe. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.